Hello and welcome to this edition of Tagunya Tip Talk. During this session and the next couple of sessions, we're going to be talking about bank reconciliations within Business Central. There's some really cool features with the new auto match function, but we want to demonstrate to you the two different versions of bank reconciliations that are available to you and show you some of the functionality. We're also going to be talking in later sessions about how to create import files for the bank reconciliation and how you can attach your bank account to an external service where it'll bring in those uh, bank reconciliation lines or your bank account lines directly into the reconciliation. So like I said at the beginning, there are two different versions of the bank recs that we want to talk about. The first one is what I would call the normal version of bank reconciliation. So if we go ahead and search for bank recons, we're going to go ahead and open up bank reconciliation. We're going to click on process and new. We're going to select the bank. In this case, it's going to be our checking account. And we're going to be presented with a bank reconciliation. Now, this is kind of a normal type reconciliation that a lot of us have seen in the past where we have bank transactions or we bring in basically the bank ledger entries and we check them off. This would be a situation where you got your bank statement sitting in on the desk in front of you and you're going to check off the transactions. So let's take a look at the reconciliation. At the top here in the header we've got the GL information showing the GL balance at the date, at the statement date. Also if there's any positive or negative adjustments we'll get those posted and coming up with an ending GL balance. Over on the right hand side we're going to get an opportunity to put in the state, the balance on the bank statement. So when you have that in front of you, we're going to put that there, and then there'll be also a listing for outstanding deposits and outstanding checks. Down below that, we have sections for checks and deposits and adjustments, but we basically need to fill that in first. And so all of these transactions are going to come in from our bank account ledger entries, and so we need to go get them. That process for going to get them is done by clicking on Process and Suggest Lines. You'll then get an option to bring in those transactions. So what kind of transactions do you want to bring in? Do you want to bring in checks? Do you want to bring in deposits? Or do you want to bring in both of those? Initially, you might want to just bring in both so you get all of the transactions into your bank reconciliation. So we're going to select both at this point. Also, do we want to replace the existing lines? This You have an opportunity where you can throughout the month bring in additional lines as you um, as you create more and more bank ledger entries so as you post more checks and more deposits you'll get additional lines if you check this off then it'll only bring in those lines that are new there are some companies that want to do kind of soft reconciliations on a, on a weekly basis and then a hard final reconciliation for the month at the end of the month and so this gives you a chance to not replace all the data but only bring in new ones. Since this is a fresh one uh, it doesn't matter but we're going to keep this checked. You also have an opportunity to filter for only certain date ranges so if you're doing a reconciliation for March for example you can, only, you can set the posting date range of the transactions you want to bring in. Right now we're just going to bring in everything so we can see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. System's going to go through and it's going to provide all of the entries uh, into our reconciliation. So up here is all the checks that were written. Down here is all the other transactions. Now it says deposits and transfers, but I like to think of it as checks that went through the check ledger entry and then everything else. Now at this point what you want to do is take your bank statement and just start checking things off. So let's say on the deposits this one's cleared, this one's cleared, this one's cleared, and on our checks we'll say everything is cleared except for maybe the last two. And so everything is there, everything else is cleared. So at this point we can come up and we can enter the balance on the statement and that's going to be let's say 93398.08. And so as you see as we do that we have a difference um, between the ending adjusted GL balance and the ending adjusted bank statement balance. As we look at our bank statement, we realize that that's uh, a fee. We got a bank fee of $20 that we haven't recorded into the GL yet. Now I can go outside and I can post uh, the bank fee via general journal uh, to uh, the bank and then go ahead and re-import the transactions. Or with this version of the check reconciliation, I can do that uh, adjustment directly here. 
So if I come down to the Adjustments tab, I'm going to put in a transaction, and this is a $20 where it's going to hit the bank. And then my balancing account is going to be a GL account, basically the bank fees account. So now I have this adjustment in here. If I come back up to the top, I'll hit F5 to refresh my header. You can see my difference is now zero. I can go ahead and post this reconciliation. At the same time I post the reconciliation, it will also post this adjustment so that you record that bank fee and you'll also record the, uh, the posted bank rec. The other nice thing about this is you see here with outstanding checks, um, you'll have a number here with a hyperlink and you can click on that and it'll give you a list of the outstanding checks because obviously I've only got two here so that they're easy to see but in your situation they may not be easy to see and you may also have other deposits or other transactions that are open on this side. On the left hand side you can see that it brought that negative adjustment for the bank fee into this side to help keep everything in balance. So that's the, the reconciliation process basically from the standpoint of the kind of the old method. This has been the historical method of doing bank reconciliations from within Business Central. So that's going to do it for this video. On the next video, we're going to talk about the upgraded version, which is the auto match feature of uh, the bank reconciliations, which provides a lot more flexibility. There are some issues with it that we'll talk about when we get to that point. So we hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this or any other topics with Business Central, go ahead and reach out to us at the information on the screen. Uh, and we'd be glad to help you ans help answer those questions. Also, subscribe and like this video so you can get notified of any future videos that are coming out. Have a good day.